Welcome to Video My Job. Log in by using your email address and password. Then select the top left menu. You can create a video by selecting record and then choosing the one person video template or the two person video template. If you have already created your video, select import, then choose the video from your phone's media library to pull it through. The record and import video functions can also be accessed from the main screen when you first logged into your app. Select the video icon in the top right corner for these options to display. When you choose to record a video, you'll be prompted to confirm or alter your branding. You can flip your logo, hide it, or even move it into another position on the screen by using your finger. Before pressing record, use the spirit level to ensure you're filming at a straight angle. The spirit level will appear green and then disappear when you've got the right level. Press the settings cog in the top right corner to select the font size and teleprompter speed that works for you. Then choose the script you wish to record with by pressing the pencil icon on the screen. You can copy, edit and create new scripts too. Press the red record button and use the countdown to relax and smile. The teleprompter will display your script as you record. To stop recording, press the red record button again. Your phone will display various options to retake, save, send or to use video. When you select Use Video, the app will take you through to the trimming step. Use your finger to move the aqua arrow at the beginning and the end to ensure your video has a crisp beginning and a sharp ending. Then select Apply Trim. Once in the editing step, you can enhance your video by adding overlays. Tap on the play button or the video to play your video within the editing suite and pause where you would like to add your caption, image or video overlay. Use the overlay start and end buttons to adjust the display time. You can set your captions to full screen or partial screen. You can move them around on the screen with your finger and expand them to make them bigger or smaller. You can also alter the font size and the text alignment. Always hit the tick button in the bottom right hand corner to save all your changes. Images are also great for video engagements. Select the plus button above images and this will take you to your phone's media library. Select the image or save picture that you have in your phone. This will pull it through and you can set that image to full screen or partial screen. You can change the placement of it, expand it to make it bigger or smaller. Don't forget to set the timing of your images as well, so that they fade in and out at the appropriate times in your video. In the same way that you added captions and images, you can also add video, or what we like to call B-roll footage. It will take you to your phone's media library, where you can select the video clip you wish to use. Make sure you trim it first. Once you're happy with your selection, press Choose. When the video is pulled through, you can set it to full screen or partial screen. Remember to adjust the timing so it fades in and out at the right time. Now you're ready to edit the cover of your video thumbnail. Ensure you give it an appropriate title. Then select a great image. It may be a frame from your video or you might upload a picture from your phone's media library. You can alter the text size, you can use an alternative logo, and you can change the background colour of the thumbnail. You now need to give your video a succinct description. One or two sentences is fine. If you are going to list your video, i.e. make it public, be sure to use keywords that will help increase the search. Trigger the viewer to take further action by adding a link to an online application or to further information. Your video will take a few moments to finish processing. Select Back to Library. You will be notified when your video is ready. Once your video has finished processing, you can then select the thumbnail. Press Publish at the bottom of the screen to confirm your selections. Once inside, you can choose whether you want to keep your video listed or unlisted, i.e. make it public or keep it private. You can also choose whether or not you want to create a post in your company's Facebook page. Use your buttons at the bottom of the screen to share your video to selected platforms.